Joshua wow. is. Bob, did you check your mailbox? Wow. Did you check I, your I mailbox? It, I don't think it'll be a good idea to make a move on either the bride or the groom. I think not. During this one. Probably not. All right. We have a, um, a serious situation on our hands as far as severe weather is concerned. Not a, a big outbreak of severe weather, but this thunderstorm right here, right in the heart of uh, uh, Parker County, uh, has prompted another severe thunderstorm warning just when it looked like things were beginning to weaken a little bit. This thing uh, even has a little bit of what seems to me is a little bit of rotation in it on the southern and southwestern flank of it. Right now, the warning is for Parker County and just the northern part of Hood County. Uh, the counties to the west, Palo Pinto, have been dropped and Erath earlier was under the warning, but that has been dropped. Potential potential for quarter size hail in here. Now, it may not seem like they're moving off to the east very quickly, and I'll show you the loop in just a minute, but they're racing. The individual cell is racing at 55 miles per hour to the northeast, but the entire line is just inching to the east. Uh, I would say only at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So even though that it's only one county away, I don't think it's going to reach the Metroplex, the western side of the Metroplex, for another half hour to 45 minutes. And in Dallas County, if it holds together, it's going to take another hour to hour and a half. But even when these are done, look what is happening back here. None of the models picked up this stuff, and all of those showers and thunderstorms, although not severe, have to come through later on tonight after the cool front comes on through. And again, temperatures will probably be in the lower 60s when these come through, but a real interesting setup tonight. Models did not do a very good job at all. The, the higher risk of severe weather with the rotation and the potential tornadoes, up in Oklahoma, but remember, you can never discount a strong thunderstorm dropping a tornado. You always got to keep that in mind. Here's a slight risk of severe weather, uh, probably even a moderate risk up to our northeast, and temperatures uh, not that cool yet. Now I'm talking about upper 50s, lower 60s by morning. Now it's 82 here, but take a look at where the air is coming from. It's 41 in Denver. It's 50 in Garden City, and that cool air will be here tomorrow. What a difference tomorrow is going to be. Just gorgeous. 88 the high, 70 the low. And uh, by morning, we'll be around 60 degrees as skies will be clearing probably when you get up first thing in the morning. Could be some lingering rain from the Metroplex on to the east. So we'll pull this cold front through, maybe some small hail, possibly up to quarter size in the next couple of hours. Then we clear out a brisk day tomorrow, but a gorgeous day and probably even better by Tuesday because the wind won't be blowing and temperatures into the lower 80s. Looks just great after tonight's bout of severe weather. Near 80 for a high tomorrow, so the next couple of hours, a little rough. Showers, storms, some severe, 57 to 61. Sunny, beautiful tomorrow, cooler, drier, but the wind will blow a little bit, 15 to 20, but this rain is going to lessen the fire danger out there. And over the next seven, seven days, not all that bad. We've got uh, showers and thunderstorms tomorrow morning, and then they'll be back in the forecast. And we do have, that has just come off the wire, a tornado warning for Parker County.